Time is up. Senator, let me ask you about that. He sure. mentioned, was, I think, referring to a national ban. In the past, you have supported a federal ban on abortion after 15 weeks. In fact, you said if someone can't support legislation like that, quote, you are making the United States the most barbaric pro-abortion regime anywhere in the entire world. My question is, why have you changed your position? Well, Nora, first of all, I never supported a national ban. I did, during when I was running for Senate in 2022, talk about setting some minimum national standard. For example, we have a partial birth abortion ban in this in place in this country at the federal level. I don't think anybody's trying to get rid of that, or at least I hope not, though I know that Democrats have taken a very radical pro-abortion stance. But, Nora, you know, one of the things that changed is in the state of Ohio, we had a referendum in 2023, and the people of Ohio voted overwhelmingly, by the way, against my position. And I think that what I learned from that, Nora, is that we've got to do a better job at winning back people's trust. So many young women would love to have families. So many young women also see an unplanned pregnancy as something that's going to destroy their livelihood, destroy their education, destroy their relationships. And we have got to earn people's trust back. And that's why Donald Trump and I are committed to pursuing pro-family policies, making child care more accessible, making fertility treatments more accessible, because we've got to do a better job at that. And that's what real leadership is. Governor, your response. Well, I, I'm going to respond on the, on the pro-abortion piece of that. No, we're not. We're pro-women. We're pro-freedom to make your own choice. We know what the implications are to not be that. Women having miscarriages, women not getting the care, physicians feeling like they may be prosecuted for providing that care. And as far as making sure that we're educating our children and giving them options, Minnesota's a state with one of the lowest teen pregnancy rates. We understand that, too. We know that the options need to be available, and we make that true. We also make it, we're a top three state, for the best place to raise children. But these two things to try and say that we're, we're pro-children, but we don't like this, or, or you guys are pro-abortion, that's not the case at all. We are pro-freedoms for women to make their choices, and we're going, and Kamala Harris is making the case, to make options for children more affordable, a $6,000 child tax credit, but we're not going to base that on the backs of making someone like Amber Thurman drive 600 miles to try and get health care.